We are still at Comuna 13 and we are going to that neighbor located at the hill. Right now, this is the most visited place in Medellin, the most tourist place in Medellin. Yeah, but years ago, probably 16 years ago, was one of the most dangerous. Hey there, adventure friends. Hey, today we are going to Comuna 13. Yeah, this is the Violence to Innovation Tour where this was like one of the most dangerous areas in the world mm -hmm. uh, during, I think it was like the 1990s. We're gonna find out for sure and we're gonna take you along on the journey. Let's go. living here, uh, 160,000 people, yeah? Right now we're flying over the flattest and nicest area at Comuna 13. This is like a completely normal neighborhood, just mid-class. You see a grid of streets, you see blocks, good quality of the housing, on the roofing, but even we get more or we get higher, you start to see the difference in the quality of the buildings. Look at the quality of the housing. Most of the houses are made by wood. Uh, look at the sizes of the houses, they're pretty small and it can live more than five, six members in each house. <coughs> look for example that they don't have streets. Yeah? So if you're living at the top, the only way to get to your house is just using the stairs. Stairs built by the community, not by the government. Yeah? Wow. Most of that of that houses they don't have water and electricity wow. at this time. to the very top of the cable car so that was far. Cool. Yeah, it's totally cool. I had no idea that the cable cars went this high. It's about yeah. 2,000 meters of altitude gain from the bottom up to where we're at. Yeah. Good thing we didn't have that. Crazy. You can see the whole city. It was really, really wild. Yeah, let's go check it out. A quick stop before. We entered to that neighborhood. At the 90s and beginning of the 2000s, yeah, this was one of the most dangerous because different rebel groups, different gangs, different uh, some paramilitars and also some guerrillas located here on Comuna 13. Yeah, probably more than 10 different gangs, so a very complex conflict here. Different interests, uh, different fights between the different gangs, so a lot of murderers, a lot of uh, people uh, killed here at Comuna 13 was completely dangerous. So nobody uh, wants to enter here, just the people living here. If you were a local, a tourist, also the, for the police and also for the mayor to the state, you, you never imagine entering here at that time, 90s and 2000 and Rome. The government just started the Mariscal operation and start to try find try to find house per house gang leaders but just something happened with the gang's activity yeah again the the gangs start to shoot against the military the military against uh, against the gang so guess what some innocent people some civilians get hurted that later with the hard accessibility here they almost die yeah so because imagine you at the top you if you get hurted at the top 
there is uh, there is no ambulance that can get to, to, the, to the last place so if you're thinking that this street goes to the top you're wrong yeah <laughs> only to the to the lowest part of the neighborhood so imagine you get hurt at the top you need to walk down probably 300 stairs to get to the ambulance and the ambulance maybe 20 minutes to the main hospital here in October 16 2002 remember this date because later we're going to see painted in other graffiti October 16, 2002 was the Orion operation. That military operation lasted almost two days, 41 hours of continuous shooting between the guns and the military. So they make that military operation more or a strongest military operation. They come with 2,000 people around, but this time with two war helicopters. So they come by land and by air. With the same proposal, trying to recover this place at any cost. They start to shoot from the helicopter and they didn't care about the innocent lives here they just started to shoot just in that military operation Orion more than 50 people five zero uh, died most of them again innocent people so maybe at this part of the tour you are thinking why we are here yeah well the main reason is because about later of that military operation the government understood that the way to fight with the violence was not with more violence was investment here public public investment start to put money providing opportunities to the people in order to get a job to go to the school there is a project here i don't know if some of you already know about the project we have here it was built in 2011 it's a very unique project that puts this place in the war map it's a very unique project because it's a typical shopping mall escalator <laughs> but in the middle of the neighborhood young people around 25 to 30 years old start to make graffitis here yeah some graffitis are just to make more beauty this space or because the color symbolizes life but other graffitis tells the history of violence or the painful times they suffer before they have right now the most tourist place in Medellin we're going to start with this graffiti at the top that it's a mandala that says life or vida in Spanish yeah have two important meanings the first meaning is because life was the human right more violated during the military operations here yeah the government trying to recover this place at any cost they didn't care about the innocent life they didn't respect they just start to shoot yeah just to find some results yeah but the other important meaning is because these people maybe here they want to show all the visitors or to show us that this place it's full of life even being considered a dangerous neighbor for a lot of the years they want to show or, or they want to be taken in count that it's most the good people living here that want to have an opportunity in order to get a job to go to the school so we can continue by the street we're going to make another stop in other graffiti just here yeah so continue this way Popsicles in all of Medellin. Famous popsicles. Famous, yes. So, the famous here, it's the mango. Yeah, but it's not a sweet mango, it's a salty mango. It's a green mango. Uh, yeah. And they put lemon juice and salt. So, if you want to taste something different, it can be the mango or just the cheese popsicle. Yeah, there's cheese popsicle if you want. Coconut, passion fruit, coffee, guanabana, Oreo or cookies, salpicon, and it's a different mix of fruits, and blackberry. So, what do you want to try? Oh, that was delicious. Um, I had the Oreo popsicle. It was so creamy. So many Oreos in it. Lucky. Oh, delicious. I haven't had Oreos in forever. As you look, this is the steepest part of the street. 
I'm the last part, ending the, the ending of the strip is just here. Yeah. So if we want to continue uh, driving in our car, we can do it. Yeah. We just need to go back. The only way to continue is just motorbike or just a stair. Yeah. Upstairs, we're going to see the project that put this place in the warm up. That's the escalators. Yeah. This is public transportation again. Accessibility to these people that before it takes 350 concrete steps to get to their house. Yeah. So we can try it. We have six escalators. This was put here just in 2011, not too much time. Yeah. So go ahead and try it. So we are on the famous escalators. Yeah. The escalator put this place on the map, which what's, is pretty cool. And what's crazy is there's no shopping mall at the, at the top. Oh Sebastian. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not shopping center. Get this stuff. It's an escalator outdoor, as you see. Look around the houses. Yeah. yeah. And do you know how much it costs this project to the city? Just three million dollars. Yeah, I think that just is not too much. Just all, all the escalators, the all yeah. the infrastructure. Yeah, there are six escalators and there is a sidewalk at the top. Yeah. Wow. So I think that is not too much money and a lot of transformation. I have the opportunity to come here during the opening, just 2011, and this was just houses. Right now, if you look at there's a lot of commercial activity yeah. just around the escalator. Yeah. I say it's Comuna 30. I mean the other, if you remember the day, I say to you, October 16, 2003, the date of the military operation for the Orion. Remember the worst military operation happened in an urban, urban Latin American territory. Yeah? And they represent with a hand, like the houses throw with, with random, because for the community it was the action from the government. They just didn't care about the innocent lives. They just started to shoot from the helicopters and a lot of civilians murdered just to try to have some results. Yeah? So that's the reason they paint a hat representing gambling and random. The action from the government. Yeah? Here, one face. This side of the face is painted with a tear. This tear, of course, represents the violent times the murders and all the victims of the gang's activity but also the military operation. The interesting is that to the other side they paint a green leaf. What do you think what does it mean? The green leaf? Oh? Life. Growth. Birth, growth, life. life. It's all all the things but hope. Hope. Transformation. Like these projects, as you look, uh, start to change, to transform this area. Uh, the main sentence I use here is that it's a very simple idea. As you look, it's just going up, going down, but with a lot of power inside. Look how all this place is completely transformed. Just stores, a lot of activity, a lot, a lot of dynamics. Just possible by this simple thing that it's only accessibility. So this is again memory about Orion operation to never repeat it again. Yeah, we are in the middle of the escalators. We have three more onto the top. to the top of the escalators. Yeah. This is quite the view. Holy smokes, look at this city. Sprawling little houses and little tiendas. This place has been changed by innovation since uh, the early 2000s. Pretty inspiring story to hear how this area has been totally transformed by the people, the community. People raising white flags and saying that they're part of the Peace. All right, today we are here with Sebastian, who hey, has nice been amazing and has taken us all over Medellin. Yeah, yeah, so he has a company called Communa 13, From Violence to Innovation, yeah. which is absolutely sick. So 
Uh, Sebastian was an architect uh, and uh, found that being an entrepreneur was a better route whenever the job dried up, right? Yeah, yeah. Tell us a bit about that. Okay, so I was working three years in an architecture firm, uh, later from uh, graduation at, at the high school, uh, or at the university. I was working in the same team, in the same thing three years, without no promotion, no more interesting things, maybe in making the same thing in front of a computer screen. <laughs> uh, so later I get bored normally, yeah? <laughs> and just uh, I start these tours. I say, uh, why not? Because I, I'm studying architecture and also with my background in urban planning. I say, why not? Yeah, so I started on July last year. Um, uh, this that started like a hobby, it's right now my main job. Woo! Yeah, and I'm really enjoying because I'm meeting people from every place in the world, like you. Yeah. And uh, it's interesting to work, to work, I need to say work, but it's not a work for me. Just to, to go to show your city, uh, I'm trying to, to change, or the main proposal of these tours is to change uh, the, the stigma that we have uh, worldwide, yeah? Uh, some people right now are coming to Medellin, coming to Colombia, because it's safer, yeah? Uh, but I think that it, we, we need to take uh, more time that the people start to come here and we can be completely very tourist country, yeah? Because we have a lot of landscapes, a lot of good people, uh, you, you're going to love, the, to love the people living here in Medellin, in Bogota, in every city in Colombia. We want to welcome all the people here. So if you are coming to Medellin, Colombia, definitely check out Sebastian. His links are gonna be down in the description. And if you haven't ever used Airbnb before, also check out the link because you can get a travel credit on your first stay. Yeah. yeah. So thanks so much for this yeah. awesome Thank tour. You. And we really appreciate all the vast knowledge that you have that you brought to this. This was really an educational experience okay. and we highly recommend it to anyone. Yay. Thank you very much to you and thank you for you and all the people watching this video. <laughs> so go ahead and uh, book and come here to be witness of one of the most amazing transformations in the world. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thanks again. Thank yeah. you. If you're new here, go ahead and click subscribe and hit that bell to be notified anytime we come out with a brand new vlog, pretty much every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, as internet permits, uh, <laughs> because you'll be able to be notified first. That's right, and until next time, friends. Adventure on. Adventure on, hasta luego.